A is real number and A cubed plus A equal to 30. Find the value of A. So in this problem, we pay attention to the power. Our power is 3. So A cubed plus A equal to 30. When we have this, we can consider it as a polynomial. If you don't know that, let's say it's good to take all things to one side. So if I take 30 to the left hand side, we have a cubed plus a minus 30 equal to 0. And one good way for solving, let's go here. Okay, one good way for solving an equation when the degree is at least 3 is to find at least one root. If you check here or here, a1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, you will see 3 works. Why? Because a3, 3 cubed, plus 3 minus 30. 3 cubed is 27, plus 3 minus 30 equal to 0. So a3 is a root. Now that we found a3 is a root, we can say we can find one factor of here. It's a minus 3. It's so much useful idea. Now you want to create a cube plus a minus 30. So because I want to create a cube, I place a squared here. Then I have a cubed. If I multiply to this and this, I have a cubed minus 3 a squared. We don't have a squared here. I have negative 3 a squared. So I should place plus 3 a, create plus 3 a squared to cancel that minus multiply to both of them minus 9a we can cancel this we don't have a square. okay now we have 9 negative 9a we want to reach a so we need plus 10a so i place plus 10 here it will be plus 10a minus 30 and here it will be a minus 30 and we've reached this so let's erase this part okay so product of two Terms equal to zero. So the first term is zero or second term is zero. Let's consider both cases. In case one, a minus three is zero. So we conclude a equal to three. And if you check, it satisfies the main equation. In case two, we have a squared plus three a plus 10 equal to zero. For solving this, we have two ways, but I tell you one of the way that is more general. That if you have a quadratic function, a squared, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, you consider delta or discriminant b squared minus 4ac, it should be at least zero for real solution. And because in this problem it says a is real, so we should consider that delta or discriminant should be at least zero. Now here, if I want to calculate discriminant here, look, this quadratic function in terms of x, here it is a quadratic function in terms of a. So b squared here is three squared minus four times coefficient here is one and c. Okay, it's 10. Four times one times 10 equal to nine minus four, 9 minus 40 is negative 31, less than 0. So here we don't have any real solution. So our only answer is A equal to 3. Okay, so if you had other solutions, you can comment right below this video and you can uh, use my other videos to improve your problem solving. So please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. And as homework, I can write another equation that a cubed plus a squared equal to, let me write for you. What number is good to write? I can say 216. Let's calculate 200. Let's see, 246. And 200. Okay, it's good. 252. Try to solve this and comment your answers below this video thanks for watching this video and bye